the internet's a series of tubes. In 1989, Andrew S. Tannenbaum said something very interesting. Never underestimate the bandwidth of a station wagon full of tapes hurtling down the highway. Today, is this still relevant, the so-called sneaker net? I've got a 100 megabit connection at my office. I've also got a pretty sweet connection here. I can upload it, hmm, I don't know, I think about 500 kilobytes, half a megasecond. So, we're gonna take this external hard drive, and this large pile of rendered files, and we're gonna find out what the bandwidth is of me putting the files on this hard drive, driving to the office five minutes down the road or so, and loading them onto the server that I would otherwise upload across town. Let's go. That is 6.56 gigabytes worth of data. So we're going to copy that to the hard drive and start the timer. One external hard drive, and let's uh, go ahead and start the timer now, just to have fun, because I could have started the upload by now. Timer going. Yep, so the bandwidth to the disk is pretty sweet. Definitely higher than half a mega second. Uh, let's see what happens when, oh look, it's going down. Oh, there goes my ego. Well, let's see what happens. Copy's done, let's eject it. That's what I'm talking about. Oh boy, better hurry, our bandwidth's going down by the second. I'm filming this too, so it's gonna be especially unfair to this hard drive. It's already crying about its reduced bandwidth thanks to me being slow and lazy. How many megabits per hour can we do? Oh, let's see, uh, I'm going about not fast enough. Go, go, go. Oh no. Oh no. The information super high. This is like whenever uh, Verizon didn't hook up those interconnects for Netflix. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh. The internet's a series of tubes. And your car might get stuck in a tube and stop my email. I am not Senator Ted Stevens. This joke doesn't work. I promise I'm not breaking any traffic laws. No, really, I'm not actually breaking any traffic laws. If I was, I might get reported to the cyber police and the regular police. Oh, what's your bandwidth in jail? Pulling into the office. Pulling into the office. Yes. Yes. Oh, we made it. We made it. Look, it's the back door to bandwidth, baby. Ooh, super spooky. All right. All right. All right, let's do this thing. That says 1046. Let's get this out of here. It's not done until we copy the files. So, we're gonna hook this bad boy up and copy the files. Soon as you're done, we're pausing it. Stay awake. Boom, we're good. Here's our sneaker nets performance. This is the number of bytes that we transferred, the number of seconds it took to do the transfer. So that gives us the number of bytes transferred per second. Divide by one, uh, 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 boom. And that's how many megabytes we transferred per second. So in practical terms, this information, 63.8 megabits per second, what does it mean? Well, we'll find out. Let's compare it to the upstream bandwidth that we actually have on a commercial cable internet connection here. 5.81 upload, 63.8 if we drive it over here. What is that a difference of, 5.81? Well, if we take that 
3.8 divided by 5.81. It was... Huh. It took 11% of the time. It took about 11% of the time for me to drive it over here. I almost literally saved nine times as much time as it took. There you go.